will stand. All persons having any business before this honourable court now draw nigh and give your attendance and you shall be heard. Admission of lawyers. Natasha Anastasio. May it please the court, I represent Natasha Anastasio be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Natasha Anastasio be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Madalena Leslie Arnfield. May it please the court, I move that Madalena Leslie Arnfield be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Madalena Leslie Arnfield be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Kate Elizabeth Arnott. May it please the court, I move that my daughter, Kate Elizabeth Arnott, uh, be admitted as a lawyer to this honourable court. Let Kate Elizabeth Arnott be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Jumana Bazzi. May it please the court, I move that Jumana Bazzi be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Jumana Bazzi be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Thomas Kyle Berryman. May it please the court, I move that Thomas Carl Berryman be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Let Thomas Carl Berryman be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Zoe Eve Bertuzzi. May it please the court, I move that Zoe Eve Bertuzzi be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. And Zoe Eve Bertuzzi be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Esther Catherine Syke Bozma. Let Esther, let Esther Catherine Saika Bozma be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Callum Jarman Buckling. May it please the court, I move that Callum Jarman Buckling be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Callum Jarman Buckling be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Campbell James Cochran. May it please the court, I move that Campbell Cochran be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Campbell James Cochran be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Cameron John Ryan Fay. May it please the court, I move that Cameron John Ryan Fay be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Cameron John Ryan Fay be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Nicole Gabrick. May it please the court, I move that Nicole Gabrick be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Nicole Gabrick be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Alexander Desmond Gleeson. Let Alexander Desmond Gleeson be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Lucia Bell Goodled. May it please the court, I move that Lucia Bell Goodlad be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Lucia Bell Goodlad be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Shatika Gunda. Let Shatika Gunda be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Elias Nikolai Hall. May it please the court, I move that Elias Nikolai Hall be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Elias Nikolai Hall be admitted as a lawyer of this court. David James Hampton. May it please the court, I move that David James Hampton be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let David James Hampton be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Clark Redmond Sumner Heap. May it please the court, I move that Clark Redmond Somner Heap be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Clark Redmond Somner Heap be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Karina Louise Nadine Ull. May it please the court, I move that Karina Louise Nadine Hull be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Karina Louise Nadine Hull be admitted as a lawyer of this court. David Charles Park Hussey. May it please the court, I move that David Charles Park Hussey be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let David Charles Park Hussey be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Sarah Jabara. May it please the court, I move that Sarah Jabara 
be admitted as a lawyer of this honorable court. Could Sarah Jabara be admitted as a lawyer of this court? Alice Felicity Reese Jones. May it please the court. I move that Alice Felicity Reese Jones be admitted as a lawyer of this honorable court. Let Alice Felicity Reese Jones be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Bermika Katri. May it please the court, I move that Bumika Katri be admitted as a lawyer of this honorable court. Let Bumika Katri be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Kai de Lau. May it please the court, I move that Kai de Lau be admitted as a lawyer of this honorable court. Let Kai de Lau be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Chun Sing Lau. May it please the court, I move that Chang Sing Lau be admitted as a lawyer of this honorable court. Let Chan Sing Lau be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Kate Louise Lawrence. May it please the court, I move that Kate Louise Lawrence be admitted as a lawyer of this honorable court. Let Kate Louise Lawrence be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Nicholas Lim. May it please the court, I move that Nicholas Lim let Nicholas Lim be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Samantha Jane Lejeune. May it please the court, I move that Samantha Jane Lejeune be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Samantha Jane Lejeune be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Ruth Lebranchik. May it please the court, I move that Ruth Lebranchik be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Ruth Lebranchik be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Lucas Kudzai Macombo. May it please the court, I move that Lucas Kudzai Macombo be admitted as a lawyer in this honourable court. Let Lucas, Lucas Kudzai Macombo be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Jessica Rose Marotta. <laughs> May it please the court, I move that Jessica Rose Marotta be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Jessica Rose Marotta be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Matthew John Morrison. May it please the court, I move that Matthew John Morrison be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Matthew John Morrison be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Vu Nok Ha Nguyen. May it please the court, I move that Vu Nok Ha Nguyen be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Vu Nok Ha Nguyen be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Jesse Northy Baldwin. May it please the court, I move that Jesse Northy Baldwin be admitted as a lawyer of this honorable court. Let Jesse Northy Baldwin be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Kong Peng. May it please the court, I move that Kong Peng be admitted as a lawyer of this honorable court. Let Kong Peng be admitted as a lawyer of this court. James Michael Perry. May it please the court, I move that James Michael Perry be admitted as a lawyer let James Michael Perry be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Angus Cooper Pulver. May it please the court, I move that Angus Cooper Pulver be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Angus Cooper Pulver be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Marie Sally Sakali. Let Marie Sally Sakali be admitted as a lawyer of this court. A meter row. A meter row. A meter row. May it please the court, I move that my sister Rita Rao be admitted as a lawyer of this honorable court. Let a meter row be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Zena Selman. May it please the court, I move that Zena Selman be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Zena Selman be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Akash Kinakuma Shah. Register. May it please the court, I move that Akash Kinakumar Shah be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Akash Kinakumar Shah be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Katie Janelle Shalders. May it please the court, I move that Katie Janelle Shalders be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Katie Janelle Shalders be admitted as a lawyer of this court. 
Wei Yin So. May I pray, it please the court, I move my friends, um, we, so be admitted as the lawyer of this honorable court. Let Wei Yin So be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Jane Emma Spencer. May it please the court, I move that Jane Emma Spencer be admitted as a member of this honorable court. Let Jane Emma Spencer be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Renee Lo Chan Tang. May it please the court, I move that Renee Lo Chan Tang should be admitted as a lawyer of this, of this honorable court. Let Renee Lo Chan Tang be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Mangan Zheng. May it please the court, I move that Mangan Zheng be admitted as a lawyer of this honorable court. Let Mangang Zheng be admitted as a lawyer of this court. I also admit as lawyers of the court the following persons who have completed a special process for admission in absentia. Uh, Ji Ying Bi, Zi Yao Gao, Lucy Elizabeth Gimmel, Michaela Rose Giorgio, Jade Lee Hamilton, Xiao Qing Liu, David Emmanuel Manley, Patrick Liam Miller, Chrisette Rowitz, Yinan Wang, Wenfeng Zhang, Shiguang Zheng, Clea Zuka. It will now be necessary for the uh, applicants for admission, whose admission has just been moved, to stand and remain standing as directed by the officiating officer for the purposes of swearing an oath or making a declaration. Please stand as directed by the officiating officer. Would the first two rows please stand? Natasha Anastasia, Madalena Leslie Armfield, Kate Elizabeth Arnott, Jumana Bazzi, Thomas Kyle Berryman, Zoe Eve Batuzzi, Esther Catherine Saker Borsma, Callum Jarman Buckling, Campbell James Cochran, Cameron John Ryan Fay, Nicole Gabrick, Alexander Desmond Gleason, Lucia Bell Goodlad, Shatika Gunda, Elias Nikolai Hall, David James Hampton. Do you severally swear or declare and affirm that you will truly and honestly conduct yourselves in the practice of a lawyer of the Supreme Court of New South Wales and that you will faithfully serve as such in the administration of the laws and usages of this state according to the best of your knowledge, skill and ability? Would you please say, so help me God, or I do? I do. Would you please be seated? Would the third and fourth row please stand? Clark Redmond Sumner Heap, Karina Louise Nadine Ull, David Charles Park Hussey, Sarah Jabara, Alice Felicity <coughs> Reese Jones, Vimika Katri, Kaida Lau, Chun Sing Lau, Kate Louise Lawrence, Nicholas Lem, Samantha Jane Lejeune, Ruth Lebranchik, Lucas Kudzai Combo, Jessica Rose Marotta, Matthew John Morrison, Vu Nok Ha Nguyen. Do you severally swear or declare and affirm that you will truly and honestly conduct yourselves in the practice of a lawyer of the Supreme Court of New South Wales and that you will faithfully serve as such in the administration of the laws and usages of this state according to the best of your knowledge, skill and ability? Would you please say, so help me God, or I do? Would you please be seated? Officer. The two rows to my left, please stand. Madam, Madam, officiating officer. That's the, that's the missing name. 
Jesse Northey Baldwin, Kong Peng, James Michael Perry, Angus Cooper Pulver, Amita Rao, Marie Sally Saklawi, Zena Selman, Akash Kinakumar Shah, Katie Janelle Shalders, Wei Yin So, Jane Emma Spencer, Renee Law Quan Tang, Mangan Zheng. Do you severally swear or declare and affirm that you will truly and honestly conduct yourselves in the practice of a lawyer of the Supreme Court of New South Wales and that you will faithfully serve as such in the administration of the laws and usages of this state according to the best of your knowledge, skill and ability. Would you please say, so help me God, or I do. Would you please be seated. Well, may I uh, warmly welcome you all to the uh, Supreme Court uh, of New South Wales. Uh, present with me on the bench today, uh, to my right is uh, Justice Danji of the Common Law Division of the Court and to my left, Justice Peden of the Equity Division of the Court. Together, we constitute the court that has, in the exercise of its jurisdiction, admitted you to practice. I also acknowledge sitting with us on the bench today his honour Judge Justin Smith, SC of the District Court of New South Wales. We've been, uh, we have admitted you, the newly admitted lawyers, today sitting on land for which the Gadigal of the Eora Nation have cared and been custodians for thousands of years and the court pays its sincere respects to elders past and present and extends those respects to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. We also embrace the spirit and the sentiments of the Uluru Statement from the heart. To all the newly admitted lawyers today, welcome to the legal profession. Today is one for celebration. And I'm also pleased to welcome those with you today or watching on the live stream. For many of you, uh, the support of your family and friends will have been invaluable. No doubt they've also been on the receiving end of your finely polished or emerging skills of argument and persuasion. Uh, I encourage you to take the time to thank them and depending on how good an advocate you have become, you might even convince them to shout you lunch or dinner to celebrate the day. Or you could shout them. Uh, we know how hard you have all worked to get here. It's a memory, I can say, that never really leaves you. And for most of you, your journey has involved two extraordinarily uh, challenging final years affected uh, by the challenges uh, of the pandemic. You've managed your legal studies with this additional adversity unprecedented in our lifetimes, and that makes your achievements all the more impressive. The resilience you have developed will stand you well into the future. Now, being admitted as a lawyer of this court, you join an honourable and ancient profession with the custom of advocates swearing an oath on admission uh, uh, to practice dating back to the 12th century. And this court first admitted lawyers in 18. 24, and by 1830, the name, names of lawyers were entered onto the rolls of the Supreme Court in this state, just as you will do immediately after this ceremony. It's in acknowledgement of the weighty responsibility that we observe today's unique formalities, including the fact that your admission has been moved by someone who is already a member of the profession, and that you have made a formal oath or affirmation in the presence of your family and peers. They are all witnesses to the promises and undertakings you have made today. The law touches every part of our society and it can and will lead you in many different directions and career paths. But in whatever direction you head, uh, you must always remember that the oath or affirmation you've just made is a serious one and deserves solemn regard. So whether you work in private practice, at the bar, in a community legal centre, a Crown law office, a government department or agency, or indeed in an entirely different field, you should be known uh, for your honesty, your integrity and your commitment to justice. And you must strive at all times to uphold these 
cardinal values. Admission as a member of the legal profession is a privilege and not a right. I referred earlier to tradition and formality, and you will see from some of the portraits on the walls in this the Banco court that we on the bench are wearing, in some cases, literally the same robes as have been worn by our predecessors. Symbolically, that highlights the continuity of the rule of law in New South Wales, although the judges wearing the robes are now drawn from an increasingly diverse pool. As to continuity of the rule of law, in a world in which there is much global uncertainty and insecurity, the rule of law is more important than ever, and not simply a phrase of some academic or theoretical import. The rule of law is the opposite of the arbitrary abuse of power and the rule of autocratic dictators and populists. Looking around the globe, we know that there is nothing theoretical about those threats. Now, notwithstanding the formality and tradition attending this ceremony, not, not everything in the legal profession remains unchanging. COVID-19 meant a rapid shift to increased use of virtual courtroom technology to ensure access to justice continued in the midst of the pandemic. And we are proud of what was able to be achieved in the courts uh, during that time. And we also salute those other professions, especially the medical and nursing profession and the educational uh, education profession who did so much for our community throughout the pandemic. But returning to the legal profession, the technological impetus brought about by the pandemic has also delivered greater workplace flexibility, which is especially important for lawyers with family responsibilities and in regional and remote communities, and has also had profound implications for how our legal system interacts with and may become accessible to many more people. Although the increased use of technology offers a number of advantages, the practice of the law has human nature and human interaction uh, at its core. An essential part of being a good lawyer is understanding people, how others react to different situations, how they perform under pressure and deal with each other. And as I said in my swearing in speech as Chief Justice earlier this year, whilst the remote practice of the law may be possible, it is far from desirable. Now, there are, of course, other changes that deserve attention uh, in the legal profession in addition to those brought about by the pandemic. When we think of the diversity of the legal profession, we encounter something of a duality that we have come uh, very far, although much still needs to be done. For example, take the case of women. Uh, extraordinarily to us, women were originally not even permitted to practice in this court. But since 2018, women have made up more than half of all solicitors with a practising certificate in New South Wales, and uh, approximately two-thirds of solicitors under the age of 30 are female. And some of the most senior positions in the law in Australia are held by distinguished female lawyers, including the current Chief Justices of the High Court of Victoria, Queensland as the ACT, and the ACT, as well as the President of our Court of Appeal, uh, Justice Ward, so also the Director, the Commonwealth and State Directors of Public Prosecutions and the Senior Public Defender uh, in this state. There should be strong representation of lawyers from the many different backgrounds which comprise our cosmopolitan community. Diverse representation amongst solicitors, advocates and judges assists in ensuring that all people who become involved in our justice system can and feel that they can be properly heard and fairly engaged with by a system reflective of our broader community. The admissions ceremonies uh, on which I have sat since becoming a judge almost four years ago, including this ceremony, highlight that there is a far greater diversity of background amongst junior lawyers than when I commenced practice, and that's a very good thing. And the leaders of the profession and the courts are working hard to foster inclusiveness and diversity. That in turn builds trust and respect for both the judiciary and the legal profession. You, the newly admitted lawyers, enter the profession at a time when, more than ever, your words and actions are having an impact for good. And shortly I will invite two young lawyers who were in your shoes not so very long ago to say a few 
words of welcome to you. The legal profession is one rich with opportunities. But before calling on them, let me first offer a little more uh, friendly advice. As a lawyer, you will often need to make difficult ethical decisions. You must use the tools you have developed to think critically and not compromise on your fundamental duties to the court and to the administration of justice. One important mistake you must not fall into the trap of making is giving your clients the advice you think that they want to hear. That will not be good advice. Being a lawyer means that you are an advisor, a problem solver, a mediator and an advocate. As you go about your day-to-day -day work, remember that you're not merely dealing with the law in a vacuum, but the law as it applies to people's lives. An individual in need of your services as a lawyer will often be an individual facing some kind of great personal challenge or crisis affecting his or her liberty, property, personal well-being or health or financial position. For these reasons, you must always strive to deliver legal services sensitively, competently and fearlessly, of course, but always with courtesy and integrity. And in that context, I wish to emphasise the importance of what some regard as the old-fashioned concept of civility. Aspects of the law, especially if you're involved in the litigation side of practice, are confrontational and adversarial. The practice of the law can be stressful and demanding enough without personal animus and antagonism between practitioners adding to the load. It is essential, essential that you maintain your detachment, balance and good humour, remembering at all times that you're now members of a profession and not a business. And remember this, the best advocates can and do make their point simply and succinctly. Often, less is more. Some of the most experienced lawyers, and I dare say judges, could also use that reminder from time to time, and I don't exclude myself uh, from that counsel. For a non-lawyer, law is often incomprehensible. One of your roles as a lawyer will be to make the law accessible to others, sometimes by deciphering legal complexities, other times by deciphering poor legal drafting and, and, and putting uh, complex facts into a legal framework. Strive to be clear and concise at all times in both your writing and your speaking. At various points in your career, you will uh, make mistakes, some minor, some more serious. We all make mistakes from time to time, especially when starting with something new. What is important is you try not to make the same mistakes twice, and when you do make mistakes, that your commitment to honesty, integrity, and the administration of justice means that you take responsibility, correct what you can, and learn from those errors. It's also important to emphasise on an occasion such as this that in the practice of the law, your physical and mental health are both extremely important. There may, there may and I dare say will be, times when you feel overwhelmed, burned out or distressed. Legal practice can be all-consuming and physically and mentally taxing. Now, that's because lawyers will often go the extra mile, burn the candle late into the night, trying to work out the solution, trying to uh, uh, finalise the advice, the urgent advice for their clients. And that's uh, an honourable aspect uh, of the profession, the dedication to uh, the service of their clients. But it can be, as I say, uh, all-consuming and physically and mentally taxing. You must uh, work hard to keep your balance and to keep your eye out to ensure that your colleagues do as well. If you do get overwhelmed by it all, and frankly, as frankly we all have from time to time, try to take a step back and recapture some perspective or suggest gently to your colleagues that they might do so as well. You should also remember that the uh, law is a highly collegiate profession and in that context let me now call upon uh, the young representatives of both the New South Wales Bar Association and the Law Society to say a few words. Uh, Ms Ng, do you move? May it please the court. My name is Bernice Ng and I've been practicing for five years at the bar, predominantly in commercial law and equity. On behalf of the New South Wales Bar Association, I welcome you to the legal profession. The legal profession 
is an old profession based on precedent and the rule of law, while also being a profession that grows and develops, adapting to new practices and technology, and most importantly, to society's values as they change over time. For several decades now, the composition of lawyers and barristers in New South Wales has changed to better reflect the community. The bar today is a welcoming place for people of all genders and backgrounds, and you are welcome, either straight away or after some time as a solicitor, like me, to apply to come to the bar. It is an honour to be a lawyer, and in my case, a barrister, and I'm very proud to be a member of the legal profession. I enjoy the intellectual challenge of my job and it allows me to give expert advice to and to represent people in court and to contribute to society in a meaningful way. If you are interested in coming to the bar, you can contact the New South Wales Bar Association or have a look at its website on the steps to take. Each year, there is a career at the bar open day with the next one in October. To become a barrister, you must pass the bar exams and satisfactorily complete the bar practice course and reading requirements in your first year at the bar. In terms of the support available in your first year of practice as a reader, you have two tutors who are barristers of at least seven years seniority who meet with you weekly, review your work and teach you practical skills, whether by appearing with them in court or otherwise. The bar is also renowned for its collegiality, especially in chambers so you're not isolated or alone. The, bar, the New South Wales Bar Association is a professional body that supports barristers and has several committees, including, for example, a new barristers committee, which organises social and educational functions for barristers five years and under, a wellbeing committee, which runs seminars on health and wellbeing, promoting balance between work and the other parts of your life, and a diversity and equality committee, that promotes one of the key strategic goals of the New South Wales Bar Association to attract the best people to become barristers, regardless of their race, religion, gender, parental status, or sexual preference. Whether as a lawyer or a barrister, I encourage you to get involved in the Law Society or Bar Association and to use your skills to assist your community. It is a rewarding experience to practice in connection with others in your profession. Once again, on behalf of the New South Wales Bar Association, I welcome you to the legal profession and I congratulate you on your admission today as a lawyer of this honourable court. May it please the court. Ms Rafter, the Law Society, do you move? May it please the court. My name is Alana Rafter and not so long ago, I stood where you are all standing today and what a day it is. Today, you are admitted to the Supreme Court role. After a long and arduous journey, it is not a small feat. You should all feel immensely proud of what you have achieved thus far. When I embarked upon my career as a lawyer some five years ago, I was not certain about what to expect. At times, it was a bit overwhelming, and it was certainly not always easy. But now, as I stand here today, after four years as an associate at this court, and now working as an associate at Australian Business Lawyers and Advisors, I can tell you I've learned a lesson or two. One of the most critical things I have learned, even whilst following a not so linear path in law, is the importance of belonging to a profession. The legal profession is an increasingly large and diverse community, and one which you now all belong to. The Law Society of New South Wales is a home for that community. With its 30,000 members spread far and wide throughout the state, together we are bound by our shared duties, our commitment to continuous learning, our desire to connect, and our drive to give back to our communities and uphold the rule of law. As an early career lawyer, belonging to a strong network of your peers is crucial. 
That is why I have been part of the Law Society's New South Wales Young Lawyers Branch for the past three years. There, I found inspiration, guidance and support when I needed it most. I've also found opportunities to advocate and participate in various committees. By joining the Law Society, and with that, New South Wales Young Lawyers, you will gain access to mentoring and professional support, which is so important in these early years. You will also have access to events and conferences and opportunities for professional development and volunteering, and the list goes on. It is the role of the Law Society to ensure that you, as newly minted solicitors, thrive and succeed in your new profession. So again, congratulations to you all. Look us up or speak to your employer. We look forward to welcoming you all into the Law Society community. May it please the court. Thank you, Mr. Arpter. Well, can I say uh, this to you all in closing? The law is a wonderful profession. It's stimulating, it's challenging and satisfying. And it's populated by intelligent, committed and dynamic people such as yourselves. You should be proud to be a lawyer and of your achievements to date. And sh you should remain proud to be a lawyer. It is a very important profession in our society and you are now a very important part of it. So hold your heads high and the very best of luck on the exciting journey that lies ahead. On behalf of Justice Danji, uh, Justice Peden, uh, and myself and indeed all of the judges of the Supreme Court of New South Wales, I once again congratulate you on your admission to practice and welcome you to the legal profession. The court will now adjourn. Thank you.